Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to prep a file, a logo in this case, a, an Illustrator file with all your Illustrator vector graphics and prep it to animate in Adobe After Effects. We're gonna go from this, this logo that has not been prepped, it's all in one layer, and it's uh, the, the type is fonts and everything's all the, the, the whole logo is grouped and we're gonna prep it to look like this um, I've already done it and this is what we're going to do we're gonna all the elements we're gonna break up all the elements into their own layer outline all the fonts and make sure that every single element is in its own layer and then we'll be ready to import into Adobe After Effects so that we can animate this logo all right, let's get started. The way this logo was created, I mean, it's like anything else. You you don't really have animation in mind when you create something, especially a logo. So you're working in Adobe Illustrator and you're being creative and you're doing vector graphics, that's fine. And all of the elements are in one layer. And so what we're going to do, first of all, I like to go into my artboard tool and change the artboard size to 1920 by 1080, which is HD. Since this is for video, I like to get started with, with a format that is dedicated for video. So 1080 by 1920 full HD. I'm gonna grab everything I'm going to put it here up at the top and then with the selection tool I can just grab it with the shift to size proportionately. I'm going to just drag it and size it all the way to the bottom. Move it so that it's centered. I'm going to now grab the background and then size it size it just here uh, hold down the option so it sizes both sides at the same time and I'm gonna size this out to so now we've got the background to the size that we want I feel that the company name is a little too small for the for this logo so we're gonna change the proportions and make it look a little bit better but when I click on it you'll see that everything is grouped if I, I can't really move something without moving the entire thing so what first thing I'm gonna do is ungroup this whole thing and see if we can go ahead and select the, the type and select the logo separately and we can so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to press shift so that we can size down proportionately and an option so we can size from the center Right about there, I'm gonna move this up. Now it looks a little bit better in, in my opinion. Now that I've got this selected, I am going to convert the type to outlines. So we're gonna to go to the type menu and create outlines. That way we don't have to mess with the fonts or anything, they're now created outlines. I'm gonna go ahead and save this file. We're going to call it logo for a E2, version number two. Illustrator is fine. Save it. Save. And now we have to ungroup this, this whole logo bug element. So go to object, ungroup. Make sure that everything is ungrouped. I can select this one individually, this one individually, this one individually, and this one. Oh, this is also grouped. So go up here and ungroup that, that one, that one individually, and this is grouped. So I'm going to ungroup that, make sure that I can select the word company and the tagline separately and the background separately. And the reason you want everything separated is because when you animate this stuff, in Adobe After Effects, everything that you animate has to be on its own layer. Any element that you animate 
has to be on its own layer. So as you know, we only have one layer and everything is on its layer, on one layer. And we have to break all the elements that we just broke up the groups into different elements. All those elements need to be in their own layer. So there's an easy way to do that. By selecting this layer, I'm going to go to the drop down menu and select release to layers in sequence. And what that does, it, it puts all the objects, all the grouped objects in its own layer. For example, I, I understand that this object is made up, made up of three different objects. It's this one, this one, and this one. But it's grouped together. And since it's grouped together, it put it in its own layer. And so everything is now in its own, but it's not really in its own layers. It's still one layer. It just, so it just separated them into groups. So we're going to select all these layers and drag them out of this layer by dragging them until we see this blue line right on top of the objects and let go. They become their own separate independent layers and we can trash this objects layer. This, there is now 10 layers and we have to name them. We need to be organized. And so this one is the background layer. Background. This one, I'm not too sure what it is. This is the tagline. This one, if you don't know what it is, you can just click the uh, visibility on and off. This is the company. Return. This one is the top one. Logo, I'm going to put top. This one is the bottom one. I'm going to say logo, bottom. This one should be the right. Logo, right. This one is the left. Logo, left. And this one is the middle logo mid left or let's put yellow because we already have a left one yellow and this one is logo middle blue now that I've got every single element in its own layer here I just need to save as do a save as or save because we already have it saved. Save it. And now it's ready to be imported into Adobe After Effects so that we can animate this thing. And we've separated, remember, we've separated all the elements into different layers so that we can animate them in Adobe After Effects. So let's jump into After Effects. This is After Effects and this is a new project with nothing on it, brand new, clean. Go to File, Import file and we're going to look for this here it is this i, I named it number two because i had do, already done it and we're going to click here not footage we're going to click composition retain layer sizes and create a composition it has to be clicked on so that it can create a composition and then say open what it does it creates this composition and it calls it the name of the file and if you open up this folder you can see all my layers are in and now I don't have to start dragging these layers down. That's what this composition is for. If I double click this composition, it opens it up. It opens it up. You can preview it and it all the layers are in order. In order. The background, the tagline, the company, and all the logo elements. And now we're ready to animate this thing. Everything is in its own layer. And I can select these individual parts and start animating it. In the next video, we're going to go over some basic animation properties, how to start animating these elements. So if you like the video, guys, please comment and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.